hand full of gas yeah. We got on trap. peace like Vastly Look at that full trap trail Well that's tag team Drag race, no drag queen Straight fuel injection Yeah, yeah that's max speed, no vaccine Fast lane no, we swear Wow man, you My know just how fast it is for real boy Yeah, 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 Wagyu and all sorts. Yoza. Fucking hell. My missus like, she won't eat lamb, yeah? Because it's a lamb. I'm like, bro, you eat beef, chicken. We don't care about cows and we don't care about chickens, but but a lamb is a lamb. Sorry, we're just waffling right now. We're just waffling. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go for the first drive in my stage two tune M140. It's been about two months i'm not gonna lie to you i've been mad busy you've seen races with the car but i haven't actually taken you for the first proper drive i've been dailying it for a minute but yeah man we're gonna take you for the first drive now to show you what she's like so enjoy so guys this sunday 10 30 someone's gonna be winning this bmw m3 for 99p it's got a four liter v8 with over 400 brake horsepower six speed manual gearbox rear wheel driven making this a proper driver's car so head over to lfgame.com for your chance to win and i'll see you this sunday at 10 30. so straight into it let's straight in she is ripping an m140i is dying for a tune tom wrigley performance is where we decided to have the the map done you would have seen the installation we went down there we filmed what do we film? We filmed a single turbo M3, filmed a bit of content on track, Tom fucking rinsed out my tires. Lovely. But anyway, stage two plus is what we did. 430 to 440 horsepower on pump fuel. We did a methanol map as well. So if we do put five liters of methanol to uh, a full tank of V-Power, apparently I'm roughly 470 to 480 horsepower. So it's a massive jump in, in, in power. Crazy to think you can get this kind of power off of just a tune. Obviously we did do uh, the TU upgrade of fuel pump so it's a fuel pump you get off the toyota supras or the, the the z4s decat down pipe we already had the remus full exhaust system we serviced the car filter oil i probably missed something as well and obviously tuned by mike ball so i've been driving the car but obviously when i'm not on camera guys i am chilling most of the time so it will be not like a first impressions but it will be kind of fresh you know because i'm not out driving my car like a lunatic every day guys you also do have a uh, rolling launch or rolling anti-lag um if i remember how to do it i'll try but uh, flat in the throttle me she's a ripper <laughs> bro this car actually sounds mental Quick, very very fast man absolute transformation man look 340 horsepower that's a that's a nice amount of power i'm not gonna lie to you but my god does a tune weight this car i mean it's not quite a tune it's stage two plus flatten the throttle just you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah another thing to mention we did do gearbox software uh shifts are just like that little bit more slick they're quicker it just, just feels more crisp, man. It just feels nice, almost more dual clutch transmission like. I don't like the pops and bangs. I should have told Tom to not put them on, to be fair. Honestly, like, third, fourth, like, it's off key, man. 100% Michelin Pilot Sport Forest tires definitely transform the car. It's got so much more rear end grip. Um, you can feel the, 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 the body itself moving around, but the tires man really make it hold on and this car now is only a little bit slower than, than an m5 out of the box like an f90 let's see if we can work out this uh rolling launch hold it down there you go yeah yeah <laughs> Out, boy, so sick in it. You got a rolling anti-lad. It's what I got on my GTR. 
Bro, I'd spend big dough for this feature on the GTR, man. But yeah, this is the beautiful thing about it. Look, it's still an M140. You can still daily drive. You still get beautiful fuel economy. Honestly, the fuel's not changed one bit. Like, fuel's very expensive right now. I'm not going to lie. But it feels exactly the same, man. There's no compromise. And we know the engine's solid as well. Any of you guys worrying about a stage one, stage two tune, honestly, as long as you go to the right guys, um... You know what I mean? You're gonna have no problems as long as you're not prioritizing numbers and 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 performance over reliability. You're all good. We know these engines could do 700, 800 horsepower. So if you want to go stage one, stage two, really wouldn't panic. You know. Yeah. No. No worries, mate. No worries. Just just pull out, mate. So we're fully traction off now. And that's the sick thing about this car, it doesn't just kick in and sort of step to the side, it's very progressive with the way it puts it down. <laughs> the way it shifts down to like, it feels like it goes down to first gear, man. Wow, man, you notice just how fast it is through here, boy. manual mode it makes the car feel slower i prefer to have it in drive and just flatten the throttle like then it feels like a proper turbocharged car i just jesus have a listen brakes could do just being a little bit better <laughs> Fuck yeah, what an animal, man. But it doesn't feel like I'm driving out of the car's capability. Like, you know, we're definitely at the line, but yeah, yeah, it can still, it can go a bit more, man. Let's just go flat. Look at that full traction. You're getting the full route today, man. Bear crying in the comments and that. But yeah, well, it is, guys. I do film for like probably 15, 20 minutes, but it's a real tight edit you know like the reason you're able to watch and you enjoy the, the the shorter video is because i'm trimming out so much shit do you know what i mean i'm showing you literally like a show reel of of what i'm doing so this video i'll probably extended it a bit so it's probably going to be a little bit more waffly look first gear flat the throttle full traction unreal man like if that was um open deer if that was spin up definitely especially with the power can definitely feel like mid corner it's like a bit of movement like um, it's not like throwing itself off the line but it's just a little bit I said it in the first drive video I'm sure it's a little bit jiggly fucking ridiculous you're going for three four gears and you're like what you man do the maths in it enough power especially when the roads start becoming a bit more enclosed honestly like the way this car is soaking up these bumps you probably couldn't do that with a car that was sitting like 35 mil lower you would smash every last one of those bumps but I'm literally able that's what you lose though isn't it you know you can have a car that's uh, got a much more capable suspension kit on it which will steer better it'll be more planted but you can't use it on a public road right this car i'm still able to just fly around like normal and absorb all of these potholes <laughs> Very 
very, very fast. Right, so guys, you join me back at the unit. As you can see, absolute, bro, I can't get over this unit, just how sick it looks. Recently cleaned it up. Look at the mist, how it just lingers in the air, bro. It's like we're in a movie set right now. Content to expect on the M140, uh, possibly another race or two. Um, if you don't see another race or two, Tom, if you're watching, it's time to get this G35 on the M140, man. Maybe do some drag racing, some half a mile racing, and of course, after that, we're gonna move on to forging the engine. I will end the video there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and uh, yeah, you can click off now if you're here for the M140. I want to have a quick chat to some of my followers. Pretty random, actually. Somebody said to me the other day, he's like, if you could only have one car, which car would you have? Automatically. I'm like Porsche GT3. And every time I get asked this question, I'm like Porsche GT3. So I'm like, why have I not got a Porsche GT3? Why do I not have one? I'm just sitting there thinking, bro, I've got to get a Porsche GT3, guys. And obviously we bought the 720. The 720 was more from a content perspective, but, but yeah, the reason for this random conversation is because to get the Porsche GT3, I'd have to get rid of the GTR. And to be fair, I'm sure I'd get so much more use out of a Porsche GT3. Like, yeah, I'd make some content with it, but mainly would just be for myself. Do you know what I mean? The GTR unfortunately isn't that car. It's an absolute beast. You see what it's capable of, but it's not a car that you want to drive every single day. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you very, very soon.